sportsmen and women continue to inspire us all. It is this in mind that the fund provided financial support towards awarding and recognizing our athletes through the cash awards program, which is included in our funding manual and procedures. It is heartening, Your Excellency, to know that our pursuit of excellence in sports and arts aligns sim seamlessly with the bottom-up economic transformation agenda. The power of sports and arts to drive economic growth, foster community development, and promote unity cannot be overstated. By nurturing talents and providing them with the resources they need, we are not only building a stronger sports and arts industry, but also contributing to the overall socio-economic well-being of our country. Today also marks a momentous occasion as we launch the Talanta Plaza and Talanta, uh, Talanta Hall of Fame, a space that celebrates the achievements of our legendary athletes. This hallowed space pays homage to those who have paved the way for the current generation and serves as an inspiration for those who inspire to follow in their footsteps. The, the Hall of Fame stands as a testament to the enduring legacy of outstanding Kenyans and the indomitable spirit that defines our people. In conclusion, Your Excellency, I wish to reiterate that the Fund is committed towards supporting projects and programs that are in line with the mandate through effective and efficient funding. I want to thank you, Your Excellency, for coming today to come and join us here as we celebrate this uh, momentous day. And for that, I say thank you very much and may God bless. Asante sana mwenye kitu wetu, Lieutenant General Mstaafu, Jackson Tuwey. Kurusa yako mwishmua rais, ni kubalia sasa ni mwalike governor wa jimbo la wajia, ambaye ni makamu wa mwenye kitu wa baraza la magavana, ilina ya zungumza nasi kwa kifupi. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and the Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, Dr. William Samoye Ruto, the Cabinet Secretary for Youth, Sports and the Arts, the Honorable Ababu Namwamba, uh, my fellow governors, if any <laughs> present here, the members of the Senate and the National Assembly, Principal Secretaries, national and county government representatives, development partners, private sector, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. Good afternoon. Today is a momentous day for all of us as we gather here at the official commissioning of Talanta Plaza. This grand event marks not only the inauguration of the splendid architectural masterpiece, but also a significant milestone the journey of our nation towards empowering our youth and nurturing our talents. I wish to take a moment to honor and express a profound gratitude to the President who has been an ardent advocate for such progressive initiatives. His presence here today underscores his unwavering dedication to empowering the youth and fostering the growth of sports and talent in our beloved country. I'd also like to express my appreciation to the Sports Ministry, led by Honorable Ababu Namwamba for the outstanding leadership in spearheading this initiative. In the same breath, allow me to acknowledge the presence of um, representatives of the Council of Governors who have joined us today together with their county delegations. This plaza, ladies and gentlemen, we proudly unveil today is not merely a structure of bricks and mortar, it's a symbol of our commitment to the future of our youth and the promotion of talent in our great nation. It's a place where dreams will be nurtured, where champions of tomorrow will be born, and where the spirit of sponsorship and creativity will thrive. Ladies and gentlemen, it will be remiss of me not to acknowledge the continued collaboration between the counties and the national government in the implementation of initiatives in sports, youth, and arts sector. 
the collaborative partnership has been nothing short of exemplary. One outstanding example is the recently concluded inter-county football tournament, which is an integral part of the Talanta Hela initiative. The tournament saw county teams competing against each other, showcasing the incredible talent that lies within every corner of our country. It is not only celebrated, it has not only celebrated our rich sporting culture, but also demonstrated the immense potential that lies within our counties. Ladies and gentlemen, as we mark this moment, I would also like to celebrate in a very special way our athletes that recently made a mark on the international stage at the Budapest World Championships. Our athletes represented our nation with honor and distinction, bringing home accolades and making us proud. Today, we have the privilege of receiving and awarding these remarkable athletes for their dedication and excellence. During the just concluded Evolution Conference, Your Excellency, that was held in Usingishu County, the Council erected a wall of fame, which was officially un unveiled by yourself, uh, Your Excellency, as a tribute to the exceptional athletes in the country, in the country, including veteran athletes, retired athletes, and active ones. This gesture not only paid homage to these athletes, but also underscored the council's unwavering dedication to supporting them. In this light, we emphasize the importance of supporting our athletes and our continuous nurturing of talent. These individuals are not only worthy of our praise, where they are our pride and also our future. Investing in their development is investing in the prosperity of our nation. Additionally, one of the key resolutions of the youth breakaway sessions during the just concluded devolution conference was the need to allocate resources towards the enhancement of infrastructural capabilities aimed at fostering effective talent development. We therefore must continue to foster collaboration between both levels of government, development partners and the private sector. Together, we can achieve far more than we can individually. This synergy will enable us to provide our youth with the resources, opportunities, and platforms that they need to excel in sports and showcase their diverse talents to the world. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, may the Talanta Plaza stand as a beacon of hope and inspiration to all. May it be a testament for what we can achieve when we work together with a shared vision for a better future. Thank you, and may our great nation continue to flourish. Your Excellency, our Council of Governors Chair is out of town, and she passes her regards to you and to everyone who is here. Asante sana. Sante sana makamu wa mwenye kitu wa baraza la magavana, gavana wetu wa jimbo la wajia. Kwa ruhusa yako mheshimiwa rais nikubalia sasa ni mwalike waziri wetu katika wizara ya masuala ya vijana, sanaa na sporti. Azungumze kuna jambo atakalofanya kisha kualike ili uweze kutuzungumzia. Karibu waziri. Your Excellency the President of the Republic, my brother, governor, representing our very good partners, the Council of Governors, my colleagues, both in the ministry and across government, PSS, especially my colleagues in the ministry, PS Engineer Peter Toom, PS Ismail Made, together with all the government officials who are with us here today. And I also want to recognize in a very special way all the staff across this ministry, our members of staff, including the officer that ran the Sports, Arts and Social Development Fund for the fantastic work you are doing together with the board members of the fund.
our frontline partners, the federations. And I can see a very impressive constellation of leadership of our various federations. I want to acknowledge the National Olympics Committee of Kenya, led by this legend in his own right, Dr. Paul Targat. I want to acknowledge the Athletics Kenya, led by General Jackson Tuwei, and all the other federations. And thank you for all of you joining us here at today. Today, Your Excellency, is the first day of September. In another 12 days, we'll be marking year one of your reign in office. And for us, Your Excellency, that you've handed the privilege to manage this space of sports, the arts, and youth. We are happy today to share with you the work that is going on in this sector. And I particularly want to assure you, Excellency, that we are working extremely well with all our partners, including the National Assembly that plays the oversight role on this ministry. And I want to acknowledge in a very special way all the members of parliament that have joined us here led by the chairman of the committee responsible for oversighting this ministry, the Honorable Dan Wanyama. <laughs> Asanta Sana Mwanyakiti, together with your members and your colleague members of parliament that have joined us here. Your Excellency, today you are performing two tasks. Besides unveiling this building, you are also honoring our athletes who have in recent times, continued the incredible Kenyan heritage, the incredible Kenyan tradition of flying the flag of this amazing country truly high. And allow me therefore, because this is a ceremony which really is in honor of you great people to recognize the following four teams, Your Excellency, that you will also be rewarding today. I want in a special way to recognize the team that represented Kenya at the Youth Commonwealth Games in Trinidad and Tobago. I also want to recognize the team that represented Kenya at the Africa Beach Games in Tunisia. We also recognize in a very special way the great, irrepressible, amazing Malikia strikers Our amazing national volleyball team that just won the African Championship and thereby qualified for a direct ticket to the 2024 Paris Olympics. Thank you, great ladies, and thank you, your partners, the partners who are supporting us as we support this team. And I want to recognize Mozapet, Sasa, Weshmiwa, Sirma, together with your team that is supporting the Malikia Strikers, Asanteni Sana. And finally, Your Excellency, today you will also be honoring the team that represented Kenya at the World Athletics Championships in Budapest, Hungary. May you rise, please, Faith, together with your with your colleagues, this amazing team that led Kenya to win first position in Africa and fifth position in the world. Kongera san. Your Excellency, in our midst, we also have one young man that we have invited here to represent the incredible program which you launched at State House, the Talanta Hela Initiative. And at the heart of Talanta Hela is the identification, nurturing, and monetization of talents. Here today is a young man, Your Excellency, who first met you when he was about 12 years old. 
Today, he is the most valuable football player from our Kenya secondary school ball games and has just won a scholarship to study and progress his football in Spain. May I present to you Aldrin Kibet. Aldrin, nataka ukuje mbele tafadhali, uweze kumsalimia mweshmiwa rice. Please come with your parents, Aldrin. I know you are here with your mom and your dad. Come forward. And your excellency, Aldrin has a photo he took with you as a little boy, which he seeks to present to you. Those are Aldrin's parents. And that is you and Aldrin at the age of 12. <laughs> Your Excellency, the media requests for you to take a photo with Aldrin facing the, facing the, the other side. Your Excellency, with your permission. The parents can join you. Yeah. Thank you, Aldrin Pongesis. And let's give it up to Aldrin. Your Excellency Aldrin Kibet and another young man, Alvin Kasavuli and Moses Wanjala are all heading to a top Spanish football academy. And this really is the new crop of the future of Kenyan football. And the three of them led 2,000 young Kenyans from our school ecosystem to the first ever national Sports Talent Academy camp that we hosted here in Nairobi. Young people that we selected during the national school ball games. Your Excellency, the building you have unveiled here today, appropriately named Talanta Plaza, is a symbol and a testament of the incredible work that your government has done in a brief less than 12 months in office. When we came to office, Your Excellency, we found an abandoned building, an abandoned construction site, and in less than one year, Your Excellency, you can see the results of the work of your government. <laughs> this building is now going to be the home of the Ministry of Youth Affairs, the Arts and Sports, it is a significant milestone for this ministry, Excellency, because this ministry has been scattered all over the place. The ministry is at the library. The ministry is at Kencom House. The ministry is at Bruce House. The ministry is at NSSF House. The ministry is all over and everywhere, which has made it very difficult to coherently coordinate activities of this ministry. Now the ministry can have one roof, which will make it easy to synergize our work and our service delivery. <laughs> Your Excellency, when we came to office, we also inherited a sporting and creative scene that was in absolute chaos. We inherited football that was under suspension by the World Football Federation FIFA. And Your Excellency, with your guidance, we moved with haste to engage the FIFA president, Gianni Infantino, and today Kenya is back in the international footballing field. <laughs> Not only are we back, and our teams are now participating in international football, Kakamega Homeboys has just participated in the CAF Confederation Cup. Harambe Stars is already engaging in international activities and is already pulled to play in the next World Cup qualifiers but we have also put in a bid to host the Africa Cup of Nations in 2027. That is how back we are. Your Excellency, we also inherited a scene 
where Kenya was under a very real threat of being banned by World Athletics for doping. And doping had indeed become a crisis. Again, Your Excellency, with your guidance, we engaged World Athletics. We hasted the president of World Athletics, Lord Sebastian Ko, here in Nairobi. We agreed on an all-out war against doping. Kenya was spared the ban. And most importantly, we now have a concise, coherent, multi-agency, brutal war against doping. Fully funded by government at 700 million shillings a year for the next five years. And we are working together with World Athletics in that regard. We inherited a senior excellency where infrastructure development was a mess. And indeed, Your Excellency, all stadia in Kenya had actually been banned by CAF and FIFA. We have moved with the haste again to develop a master plan for development of infrastructure. And it's because of that master plan that we have been able to do emergency interventions. Today, Nyayo's National Stadium has been readmitted by CAF and can now host international games. And we are now accelerating that whole ecosystem in preparedness for AFCON 2027 and other sporting activities. We also inherited a senior excellency where talents, especially from the schooling ecosystem, went to waste. You had the drama festival, the music festival, the school ball games where we have discovered Aldrin Kibet, but you never knew where those talents went after school. We have now created a pipeline and a conveyor belt where all these talents are now flowing to the Kenya Academy of Sports at Kasarani, Your Excellency. And we are now able to pick up talents like Aldrin and progress them to the next level where they can be useful to themselves and to the country in sync with the bottom-up economic transformation agenda. Your Excellency inherited a scene where the creatives, musicians, film, fashion, theater, pageantry, literary arts, fine art was not consolidated in any form. They were scattered all over the place. Now we have consolidated all this together. Now we have an arrangement where we are even providing cash incentives. For the first time this year, winners of the Kenya Theatre Awards were able to receive cash rewards from government. Winners of Film Awards, the Kalasha Awards, received cash awards from government. And that whole space is now consolidated and we are preparing the creative economy bill that will, in a very deliberate, intentional, and structured manner, transform the creatives into a whole industry, helping to power our economic transformation. Finally, Your Excellency, we inherited a scene where our sportsmen and women, our creatives, were never really honored as they deserve. Your Excellency, until last month, we had athletes who had represented this country, won medals 10 years ago, and had never been rewarded. We moved with Hest, Your Excellency, to do number one, revise the whole cash reward scheme. And now we have a whole new scheme, Your Excellency. It is under that scheme that you yourself received our incredible talent, Faith Kipiagon, at State House. And you are able to award her and reward her for breaking two world records in the space of 14 days. And the five million shillings for breaking the world record and a house which Faith can confirm is a real house in her real name and that she's in possession of the house is part of the revised scheme, Your Excellency. But we also made sure, Your Excellency, that we cleared and settled all outstanding dues to our athletes going back over 10 years. We hosted the Hungara Awards where we cleared all those dues and also did something else that had never been done. We honored our legions going back all the way to the 60s. And so when you see Ross Tatamuya and Tegla Lorupe there 
and um, John Kamau there and Catherine Dareba, when you see them beaming, we were able to honor them with mementos and cash awards. Just to say, Hongera na shukran for your great service to this country. And so I can report to you, Your Excellency, without a shadow of doubt. No equivocation. No ambiguity. No circumlocution. That this team that you have given the responsibility to manage this space for you is delivering exactly in the manner you have instructed us to deliver. And we assure you, Your Excellency, that we'll continue to do this. We'll continue to put the athlete first. In this ecosystem, our mantra is that the sportsman, the sportsman, the sportswoman is queen, is king. The sportsman, the sportswoman is the goose that lays the golden egg. And that is where the emphasis of our attention is. We know that we will perform a lot better as we move forward, as we consolidate this space even more. And I, I am so happy to report today, you athletes, you great people, your fan number one, your supporter number one, who makes sure that we do all these things, is His Excellency William Samoei Arap Ruto. <laughs> your Excellency, I now want to invite you to address it, but before we do that, Allow me to recognize another incredible fit, achievement, that our country was honored with a couple of weeks ago when the president of Athletics Kenya was also elected as vice president of World Athletics. <laughs> and Your Excellency, the ministry wishes to recognize general for not just being a general in, in, in real terms, but also being a leader whose credentials continue to guide our athletics here, but he has now taken this leadership to the international level. General, allow me with respect to present to you these symbols of honor from the ministry to congratulate you formally for your election as vice president of World Athletics. Actually, General Uta, Uta Boss at a, at a kusote to Apochin. Mimi Taleta the paraphernalia, and then the boss will sort you. Coffee to the general once again. And the excellence, as I invite you, allow me just to conclude by really celebrating the partners we work with. We work very closely with myriad foreign missions, embassies, and I want to thank the ambassador of the People's Republic of China, a good friend of this ministry and of government. The other day he brought his minister, my counterpart, we signed an agreement between Kenya and China to develop film together. Asante Sana Balozi. I also want to recognize our partners from France. We have another MOU with the French Embassy. And again, we are progressing that MOU. We have another embassy with Cuba. We have an MOU with Trinidad and Tobago. We have a co-production agreement with the Republic of South Africa. All these are countries we are working with closely to develop this sector. And finally, our corporate partners, KCB, Sifao Motors, Toyota Kenya, all of you to Nasema, shukran na tutaendelea kufanya kazi pamoja. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now my honor and privilege.
to ask us to rise and welcome His Excellency the President to address us. Karibu sana mwishimu wa rise. Thank you very much, uh, Waziri Ababu. Please, let's take our seats. Um, let me also take this opportunity in a very special way to congratulate uh, our President of the Athletics Kenya and now Vice President of World Athletics, General Tue. Congratulations. That's, that's really quite something. Um, let me also uh, take this opportunity again in a very special way to recognize the various teams that have participated in different uh, places representing our country. Congratulations. Uh, the teams and um, it is my pleasure this afternoon to be part of this grand occasion of commissioning of Talanta House the new home of the Ministry of Youth Affairs Arts and Sports this project reflects our commitment to sports youth and arts and is now the nerve center of the Talanta Hela Initiative, our flagship program to monetize talent in our country. It is the new home of the advancement of sports, the growth of arts, and the empowerment of our young people across all talents. This is the new home of sports promotion, football, volleyball, swimming, golf, motorsport, tennis, cycling, shooting archery and cricket among many this building brings together all ministry staff under one roof this will promote collaboration build synergy and facilitate a constant exchange of ideas and knowledge across the ministry i now want to ask that we accelerate the process of moving all the departments from all over the place to this uh, building and with that I hope we can build on the already successful work that the ministry is, is, is doing and I hope it will reflect in due course in the achievements that we will have not just as an, an administration but as a nation. With all the staff in close proximity we can harness their collective expertise, break down silos, and foster a culture of cross-disciplinary collaboration and bring much more uh, understanding to the space that you are charged with. The Talenta Hala Initiative is a true bottom-up program focused on empowerment, the creation of opportunities, and the transformation of sports, youth affairs, and arts into a viable vehicle for transforming our country and expanding opportunities for our young people. Investing in the monetization of talent will bolster entrepreneurship, innovation, and economic growth through the conversion of passions into livelihoods, creating an empowered and a self-reliant generation and people. Through Talanta Hela, we encourage our young people to dream big and pursue their artistic and sporting goals with unwavering determination and renewed urgency. The government is committed to providing the infrastructure that will return international football to Kenya in a very significant and intentional way. We are prioritizing the completion and upgrading of stalled old facilities in optimal utility areas and high potential talent uh, zones. I know you, we are all aware of the debate in Kenya about the stadium and the stadia. Many people all the time reminded me about the stadia and how they were not complete. 
we now have the opportunity to prove the metal that we are made of by making sure that we complete all the stadia. That is why I asked uh, CS Sababu to have a master plan on not just completing what we have, but also making sure that we expand opportunities to other areas. And not just that, making sure that all the stadia that we built meet international standards and can be accredited for any international sport. We are at this moment upgrading the Moi International Sports Center, Kasarani, Nyayo National Stadium, and the Kipchoge Keino Stadium in Eldoret. This works will boost our bid to co-host the 2027 Africa Cup of Nations with Tanzania and Uganda. The ministry is also charged with the crucial mandate of youth development as indicated in the executive order number one of 9th January 2023. This morning, a few hours ago, I signed into law the climate summit and the climate council and that mainstreams the participation of youth in the challenge of climate change. Right, of course, that is President William Ruto at the launch of Talanta House, which is set to be the home of Ministry of Sports and Youth Affairs. Of course, let's just go back and listen into what the President is saying. To bring the best out of them so that their dynamism, capacity for innovation and talent can contribute to the transformation of our nation and can open up many opportunities for them to participate in the development of our country. We are committed to investing in and developing the talent and innovativeness of our youth as we consider them integral to the creative economy pillar of our bottom-up economic transformation agenda and essential to the entire plan, not just about the young people. The creative industry can significantly add value to Kenya's exports, such as fashion, leather products, craft industries, among others. And just so that you know that we are looking into that space, if you interrogate um, the incentives and the interventions that we are provided in our um, Finance uh, Act that now we are implementing, there is a whole space around leather and the leather industry and making sure that we uh, use the resources that are available to us. Kenya being the country that has the third largest herd of livestock, that leather becomes part and parcel of our exports in finished product form. And our young people are invited to opportunities in that space and I hope the ministry will work with the other um, departments of government to make sure that these opportunities are not lost. Um, further, we will mainstream the creative economy into Brand Kenya and our commercial diplomacy, including appointing accomplished Kenyan artists and creative sector personalities as cultural ambassadors. I am looking forward to working with all the stakeholders in this space, all the professionals um, in, in that sector, to identify the people who will drive the commercialization of the assets that we have, including creatives, including culture, and the whole of that uh, ecosystem. I also um, believe that uh, our tourism product need to be enriched much more by our cultural heritage. And I have told the peers responsible for that space to work with all the other stakeholders so that culture, especially the fact that Kenya is the home of humanity, becomes part and parcel of what we showcase as a country. To promote the concept of innovation and startups, 
the Presidential Innovative Challenge is scheduled to kick off this month and will culminate in the Commonwealth Innovation Week where we will award the best innovations and top startups as part of the Kenya at 60 celebrations later this year. On the 12th of August 2023, the Ministry led the observance of International Youth Day under the theme Green Skills for Youth towards a sustainable world. I applaud the focus on sustainability and encourage the Ministry to bring more young people into climate action and environmental protection. I have just come from a youth summit and I was thrilled, encouraged, and I was actually um, wonderfully, in a very informed way, challenged by what the young people of Kenya, the passion, the commitment, the creativity and innovation around what they are doing to deal with the challenge of climate change, but to also, on the flip side, explore the opportunities that come with the solutions that are proposed for climate change. And let me encourage you as a youth ministry to continue to work with all the other stakeholders in all the other spaces so that we can leverage on every opportunity available to build our capacities that benefit the young people of Kenya. We have recruited, for example, a 4,000 strong green army on contract to support our national tree planting program and ecosystem restoration program. We intend to scale this up towards 50,000 as we roll out fully our tree planting exercise and ecosystem restoration initiatives. In order to address the resource constraints facing observation of the International Youth Day and its build-up activities, I direct the Ministry of Finance and the Treasury to create a budgetary vote item that will be ring-fenced for the provision of funds for the National Youth Week build-up activities and the observance of the International Youth Day every year starting from financial year 24-25. I encourage young people to consider venturing into the emerging blue, green, and orange economies. To enable them to take advantage of these sectors, I urge the various affirmative action funds, the Hustler Fund, Youth Enterprise Fund, Women Enterprise Fund, Uwezo Fund, and the National Government Affirmative Action Fund to develop tailor-made facilities targeting youth in blue, green, and orange economy spaces. This will help in the alleviation of key challenges that face youth in the country, including high level of inactivity, unemployment, or underemployment, early and unintended pregnancies, crime, alcoholism, drug abuse, and substance abuse, among others. That whole space where there is huge challenges facing our young people, we can flip it and turn it into bigger opportunities for them if we tailor made some of the interventions in the various funds that we have, in the various government initiatives, to be able to create opportunities for young people. And that is why we are deliberate, we are intentional about a plan to create jobs in Kenya. It's the reason why the housing fund is there. It is the reason why we are looking at digital jobs, why we are expanding our fiber optic, optic footprint in Kenya to explore e-commerce, e to make more young people get into the space uh, around digital jobs. And all this must be intentional, must be focused, must be um, uh, thought through so that they benefit the young people that we all intend to support. We cannot leave the youth of this country behind in any project, in any program, 
or in any sector. It is the responsibility of this ministry to ensure their full participation in every aspect of national development, in every space that is available, in the activities, interventions, programs of every ministry, because youth is the biggest talent that we have, is the biggest asset that we have. I am aware of various policy, legal, and regulatory frameworks under development by the ministry, including the Kenya Youth Development Bill 2023, review of the National Youth Council Act number 10 of 2009, and the Creative Economy Bill, among others. This will ensure that key provisions touching on youth in the Constitution, the Vision 2030 blueprint, and the Kenya Kwanzaa Plan are not just realized, but we work towards front-loading and making sure that the interventions are clear, the interventions are available, and the young people are made to participate in a meaningful way. I want to encourage all of us uh, to continue this space. When I did ask the Ministry of Sports to change the framework, because as we are all aware, the youth, the, the arts and the sports and art fund had been made to cater for many other things, including provision of other services, provision of health, and many other spaces. And it was too thinly spread across many sectors. I did instruct that we bring back the sports and arts fund and make our sportsmen and women the focus and the center of the sports and arts fund. I am very confident that with that focus, eliminating too much spread across different areas will make it possible for us to make real impact in scaling up the sector that has kept Kenya and the Kenyan flag flying high in many capitals in many parts of the globe. And again, it is very heartwarming to congratulate our Malaika team. To apigie makofi jameni. To mameni to apigie makofi awa ongwana. Congratulations, our Malaika team, for your exceptional participation and achievement. You have our support 100% as you represent us and our region and our continent in the Olympics. Um, once upon a time, I was a volleyballer. So I, I really take a lot of pride that volleyball is getting to the Olympics and to the world stage. Pongezi, congratulations. Let me also congratulate the golden ladies. Mary Mora here and Faith Kibiego. Congratulations, Mary. Congratulations times two, Faith. You ladies are a great, a great asset for our country. You are the reason why Kenya is the best in Africa. And you are the reason why Kenya is number five, together with your team. And all the others, our um, medalists from Budapest, can they stand up? Wasimame Jameni. Tuapige Makofi. Congratulations, good people. You have done us very proud. And you have our goodwill and support. Congratulations again. And we will stand by you going into the future. Asante Nisana. Every time when our national anthem was played, we, we felt that um, we were global leaders in every aspect. And uh, it wasn't me, it wasn't Ababu or any one of us who made that happen. It is you. So you guys are great and you have our goodwill and support.
pongezi 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 sana and it is the reason why we must keep our focus on our sportsmen and women they are the reason why Kenya is flying high and they are the reason why this ministry exists to deal with our young people and to deal, to deal with our sportsmen and women the arts and all the other disciplines that make us the nation that we are so asanteni sana it is now my pleasure to declare Talanta Plaza officially commissioned as the headquarters of the Ministry of Youth Affairs, the Arts and Sports. Thank you very much and God bless you. Itaomba tuketi soto na ni muombe muheshimu wa Rais kwa heshima aweze kutulia kwenye jukua mewite kwa seats kindly. Captains, we come forward now with our teams. Captains, with our teams. Ni muombe sasa ni Poli. We, we have the four, the four groups which I mentioned. We are going to do it. Malkia Strikers, just hold. Just hold a moment. Malkia Strikers, Wangoja Kidogo. We are going to, to, to do it in a systematic way. We are going to start with uh, our team to the beach games in Tunisia. And um, I will ask uh, uh, President uh, of National Olympics Committee, uh, Dr. Paul Targat, together with the Sector General, to quickly come here and lead the team uh, from the beach games in Tunisia. And we are rewarding our beach handball team that won a silver medal with 1.5 million Kenya shillings. We are rewarding Mark Omimasaba, who won silver medal with 500,000 shillings. We are rewarding our basketball team that won silver with a total of 600,000 shillings. We are rewarding Faith Urasa and Shufarua Changawa with 200,000 shillings for bronze, bronze medal in beach tennis. We are rewarding Mathayo Mabahila, bronze medal, 300,000 shillings in wrestling. We are rewarding Lawrence Karanja, who was the coach of the tennis team. We are not leaving you behind, so coach Coach Lawrence, please come forward. Coach Lina Suashoka of Beach Wrestling, please come forward. And Felix Ochido, the technical official. All the rewards to this team amount to 3.28 million Kenya shillings. Let us have the check for the beach games quickly. The, the dummy check is consolidated and will be presented to the, to the captain of the team.